back to my channel and to today's video which is all about common problems with the step touch move. Now if you haven't seen last week's video please make sure you check that out first that breaks down the step touch for you uh, but today I want to go through some common problems I see with this move to try and help you master it. It's a really beautiful move and it's a great one for beginners because it's not too difficult it gets into the essence of belly dancing with your hips but also it's a traveling move and it's always good to have traveling moves in your repertoire. So starting off Again, beginning with good posture, nice and tall, bringing our foot in front, and then we step and tap, step and tap. So just forget about the arms for the moment, let's focus on our hips. The number one problem I see when teaching this move is in the hip up. When you bring the hip up, you want to try and pull your hip, so if you feel your hip bone here, up into your ribs. So you get a nice little crease through your stomach as you pull it through, coming all the way in. Often when people are starting out, it's very difficult to move these muscles. It's all your side obliques through here. So you want to bring that hip up rather than forward. So often I'll see people twisting through like this rather than bringing it up like this. So from the side, you can see the difference. That's a twist and that's a hip up. So you want to bring it straight up in this movement. The next thing is that you want to keep your heel nice and high above the floor. So as you tap, you're bringing that hip up. So it's very similar to our hip drops move where the energy is coming straight up. So I'll link the video of that below as well. Energy is coming straight up, but the difference between this one and our hip drops is that on our hip drops, the accent is on the downbeat, whereas on this one, the accent is on the upbeat. So once we've got our up, the next problem I often see is people's posture. It's very common for people to lean over when they're trying to get their hip up because they're trying to lengthen through here and bring it out to the side instead. So the best way to fix this is to watch yourselves in the mirror. Make sure that as you come up, your shoulders are nice and still. Step up, step up. You can even hold onto your shoulders rather than coming step up, step up, step up. The next thing that I see is that people step really big steps. So you don't want to rush off as if you're trying to get all the way across the stage in one go. Keep it nice and light, nice and gentle, just small steps. So as you can see from the side, I'm not stepping that far in front, but I am still making difference. So the other problem that I see is that people don't step far forward enough. You can step instead, not as far forward, so you're bringing this foot, step and then up, step and then up, step and then up, which is a very different movement where your foot doesn't come all the way in. If you don't bring that foot in front enough, you're not going to have the space in your hips to bring that hip up. Now, the next thing I see is weight between your feet. So when you have touched this front foot on the floor and you're about to bring your hip up, all your weight should be on the back supporting leg. So you should be able to lift that front foot without impacting your balance at all. So from here, as I step, my weight is on the back foot. You can see the foot's flat. I can lift this one up easily, adding the hip and then step. Weight is now on this foot. I'm just touching down, but coming back up. So I hope you find these tips helpful with this move. It is a really lovely move to learn. Um, it's a great one because as you continue with your belly dancing, you will use it a lot. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because I've got lots of other video tutorials and discussions coming out. And as always, happy dancing.